Every administration is accused of cronyism, uh, occasionally nepotism. David Cameron was. Tony Blair was on your watch. Was there anything different about Friday's list? Do you think you don't have to answer this if you don't want it? It's not what we invited you on to talk about. Um, I mean, I, I, I did write something about this yesterday. I, I think it is. I think what we're seeing, I'm afraid, is the the normalisation in British politics of a level of corruption that we have as a country have for years condemned in the countries of others. I think you can maybe look at, say, oh, he's put a newspaper owner mm. in the Lords. And people say, oh, people have done that before. Oh, he's put the son of a KGB agent in the Lords. Mm, that's a bit weird. Oh, he's put his brother in the Lords. Mm, isn't that what they do in kind of, you know, places that, you know, mm. we used to call developing countries? And then you go through it, you know, the, the guy Spencer, um, he's been rejected in the past. Uh, by the the, the 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 committee that vets all this, so mm. what's changed there? I don't know. Um, the guy who worked for him as his deputy mayor. I mean, it's just kind of, and then he throws in, you know, Ken Clark. Who can object to Ken Clark? And then you look at the Labour ones. You think, well, they're not there because of their contribution to Parliament. They're there because of their contribution to Boris Johnson against yes. against Jeremy Corbyn. And then the ones that really get my go, and I'm sure get your go as well, are the ones who spent their whole time campaigning against Brexit because they hate the idea of power by unelected bureaucrats and suddenly being an unelected peer in the House of Lords, even if you said on record like Claire Fox did that you should get rid of the place, mm. it suddenly becomes very attractive. So I'm sorry, I'm with you 100% on this. The whole thing absolutely stinks. But then so much of what Johnson has brought to our politics stinks. Alistair Campbell, as ever, staying firmly on the fence. Many thanks indeed for your time. <laughs> 